I love uh, bottles, wine, wine, wine bottles. I called, I called her Arawa the Barrel, Barrel, Ballerina. Hello everyone and welcome to Ayo's Craft. My name is Ayo and today's episode is all about the first sets of items I made when I started my YouTube channel. So I started about three years-ish ago and so I'm going to be showing you the items that I'm still using and we'll be talking about the reasons why I'm still not using some of the other items. All right. Now, if you like this video, please do not forget to like it. And if you're new to my channel, please do not forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. The first thing on the list is this shirt. Isn't it adorable? Um, I still wear this from time to time. It's made from a Ganza with Ankara applique. This is around um, the first set of videos I did about two years ago, there about. So if you want to see this, if you want to create something like this for yourself, I'll put a link up there or in the description box so you can actually go and watch it. So this is actually the first set of items. I have washed this a couple of times in the washing machine and they are still intact. Occasionally I might have just a little bit or a little place that's coming out and so I'll just reapply the glue there and that's it. I've even told myself that if I get tired of the uh, um, organza, I can actually t change it to a cotton top and still put similar appliques on it. But this is it. And um, so check the description box if you would like to create something like this. Now number two on, on the list is, um, well I'll call it rubber slippers or jelly slippers. Some people call it jelly slippers. But they are basically made from rubber. So this is so this is the slippers and um, I, rub, I actually take this to work especially during the rainy season so this is what I wear um, to work especially because I don't have a car so I go by public transport. So most times I wear these jelly uh, flip flops to work and then change to my work shoes when I get there. So I still use this sandals, they still, they're still coming very handy. Number three on the list are my French purses. Oh my French purse, I only have one left. I actually did a couple of this and I gave, I gave those out. So this is the only one that I have left with me. Um, I love this purse actually. The color is so bright and you can actually do this in any color. It's really simple. Just get a shell case and then um, stick your fringes on it whichever direction you want. You can put them like this but I put mine like this. So the tutorial is also on my channel. I will also put a link to it there and in the description box so you can actually go back and check it out. So I still use this occasionally to church, for weddings, parties and stuff like that. Oh, I just love the way it dances. <laughs> lovely, lovely, lovely. Oh, this is so cute. Anyway, so let's get on with the list. Now the fourth one as well from about two years ago when I started my channel is um, an Ankara chair. I'm actually sitting on that so I'm going to show it to you now. Now this is the chair. I'll just lift it up because I don't want to move my camera. This is the chair I made a couple of um, years ago, about two, three years ago. And um, so there's Ankara on the, on the base of it. I will leave a description of that as well on my channel so you can go check it out. <clears throat> the only issue I have now with this, with this is the back. The backrest is actually damaged somewhere down there. The, the metal is actually broken a bit. So I'm thinking of it, either throwing this away and doing a new one or just removing the back and have it just as a stool. So these are tutorials that I did when around the first time I started my channel. This was about two, three years ago. Now as of last year, there's still a few ones that I use. Some <clears throat> I don't know, I no longer use either because I gave them out or um, they got damaged over time. Alright, so now going on to items that I made about a year ago, which are still fairly new to me. Um, one of them are the Jimmy Choo shoes, uh, the Jimmy Choo um, designed shoes. So I made that over a year ago and um, I actually love that design. Unfortunately, I haven't really had an occasion to wear it. So, 
and um, I put them on an old pair of shoes and those heels actually broke. Sad, right? But anyway, what I did was simply take out those designs and put them on a, another pair of lower heels that I'm more comfortable with, depending when I can get a more comfortable shoes, especially in the black that that is made from. So I also put a link to the description box and um, let me just show you an overview of the shoe. Uh, the next item I made is more or less like a painting-ish and um, I call her Arawa the Ballerina so here it is, it's still very much intact I have it hanging somewhere in my sitting room it used to be in the bedroom but I moved it to the sitting room and I'm thinking of giving her, you know, a friend to play with pretty soon so stay tuned for that DIY someday um, the only issue I have with this is uh, thanks to Portacot and Black Suits um, if you look closely, you will notice that um, there are some dark stains that I can't really get rid of. But other than that, she's still very much beautiful and still very much useful for me. So if you want to know how to do this as well, I will leave a link on the description so you can go and check out that DIY. The last item, but not the least item, the last but not the least item on my list are the wine bottles that I sprayed using spray paint so now this is the bottle I still use it it sits right in the sitting room on my TV stand I made about three of this and um, it's still very much um, intact I guess the only issue I would say is that sometimes the color or rather the color looks dull actually in my eye and I think it's because of frequent cleaning you know because I mean I live in a city that is really dusty I have to clean it so other than that it has actually really lasted it's about a year and I can always just spray it again you know to make it look all brand new but I still like the way it looks I'll also leave um, a link to this as well in the description box and um, feel free to recreate any of the tutorials I have shown you and I would really like to see some of them so please tag me on Instagram or on Facebook if there are any ones that um, you guys have recreated I would really like to see that and um, if you like this video please do not forget to give, give it a thumbs up and if you would like me to do certain tutorials for you maybe you want me to teach you how to do certain things please comment in the section box so I can actually make tutorials for you that you would also really like and you would want to try now thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in my next video bye bye